Hey everybody, welcome to Salt Pursuit, where it's always better to be on the water. Hey everybody, welcome back to Salt Pursuit. In this episode, it's June, so I head out with a couple of my buddies to try to find some trophy striped bass. At some point during the day, our lines go off and the fish is just peeling clean drag, which usually is a sign of a huge fish. Little did we know what was in store for us. At the end of this video, there's some very important tips on how to handle a protected fish and how to protect yourself. Check it out. <laughs> nice job. There we go. It wants to go. Heads up. Watch your head. Yeah, this is a big fish. Yeah, it is. Here. It's close. We've got to get that leader on the side too. a little bit. He's going to go again. Dogging. Just take your time. Yeah. Here, hold this one for one second. Hold on. He ain't done. We're going over him. That's it. That's a Look at that. Holy. <laughs> it's a sturgeon. Are you kidding me? What the? Yeah. What the? Are you kidding me? That's Dude, what? He snagged him. What the? <laughs> <f> <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Huh. Dude, how do we release this guy? You, you gotta net him and bring him in. Yeah. Is that legal? Yeah, I don't see why not. Cause they're protected, dude. Yeah, well you're releasing him. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Well, you could grab a you could grab a plier and pop that hook right yeah, out. That's what I'm saying. When I first saw the length of it, I said, this is not a 60 inch striker. Look at that, it's prehistoric. Oh my fish. god. Careful. Yeah, these, are, these guys get a little nasty. You're at full slack. Oh no. Tell me I just snagged them in the tail. Here, give me that. Actually, wait, just hold it, Chris. You're at full slack. What? No, I'm just saying, in case he goes. Come here, buddy. Come on. Cool thing. Coolest thing ever. There you go. Good job, Chris. You almost got that in the hand. I feel like jump now. This is ridiculous. Never in my life. I thought it was a shark. <laughs> when I first saw like the silhouette, I thought it was a monster bass. Where else to stand? He's big, man. Oh, I'll at you. All right, grab that leader and pop that thing out. Trying my best around this thing. He is cool as though. Look at yeah. all these bunker right here. Holy nice job, cat. That was cool, though, huh? Sick. What you about? Yeah. yeah, buddy. What a cool experience. I've never caught a sturgeon in my life because we've never targeted them. The Atlantic sturgeon is an endangered fish, and it's also a highly protected species. So you need to do whatever you can to make sure the fish isn't harmed and you handle it correctly, or else you can be in some trouble. I've heard stories of people handling sturgeon in the wrong way and ending up in jail. The first thing is the fish should never come out of the water for any reason. The law actually states to just cut the line, but in this case, I didn't think it would be good for the fish. It had an eight ounce jig head in its head, and if we were to cut the line, I wasn't confident that the fish would have a good chance to survive. I decided to crush the barb and to simply pop the hook out while the fish was in the water. 
It's important to keep up on regulations because bringing the fish on board would have landed us in trouble with the law. With all that being said, the sturgeon is truly a beautiful creature and man, he was huge. It never hurts to know the regulations to make sure that you're not gonna be in a position that you don't wanna be in. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram for extra content and giveaways. If you like these videos, then subscribe for more fishing action. Thanks for watching and remember, it's always better to be on the water.